Hey, Shalom. All praises unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and honest you brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Alright, so this is going to be um, a quick, oh no, not a quick video, uh, a bit of an exhaustive video, uh, somewhere in between exhaustive and quick. I think I'm going to do it in. And this is dealing with the illusion of wealth, okay? So you got what's known as the rat race out here, especially in places like London, New York, okay? Uh, 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 places where you can get, you know, the £150,000 a year job, the £250,000 a year job, of which usually you're selling something or, or you're doing something on an international basis, moving debt uh, uh, around the world, and you can get these so-called goodie bags from the so-called white, okay? But ultimately, we're gonna see within these within within these three articles that I got there, of which the premise the premise is really this. This is really what 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 the grounding for this is. Okay, so pretty much you have a system where where with Esau, okay, has it where a number of individuals out here within this world, okay, especially you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, if you if you can even get up on that ladder, but pretty much what what you have is a rigged system, okay, and it's rigged. Uh, um, Towards the uh, the superiors, man. Towards your masters, Esau. Okay, it's rigged in such a way that Esau is the only person that can benefit this. And I'm not talking about your average day Edomite uh, 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 that you see walking about. Okay, I'm not talking about them kind of Edomites. I'm talking about only the elites out here that have wealth that they have inherited from having the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. Okay, land ownership. Okay, and now, uh, once until you, uh, uh, once you understand the concept of true wealth. Then you really see that the vast majority of the people out here is fucked, okay? Because you don't have no intrinsic uh, 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 possessions, man. I don't know if intrinsic is the correct word there, but you don't have no tangible, valuable items within your or within your existence. What you have is debt, okay? And we've gone into this in in, in, in multiple uh, 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 videos that I've done in the past, dealing with uh, how debt really is the the fundamental uh, 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 backbone of Bab uh, Babylonian society, man. It's the fundamental backbone of Babylonian society, and that debt's gonna get you know that 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 debt gets you trapped up, man. Okay, but that's all going back onto the curses of which our Bashinyash have inflicted upon the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. How we was gonna be, and in fact, it might be a good time to get this scripture. I was gonna get it at, at the end, but it's you know it's no time like the present. Okay, because all of these things that you're seeing out here, a system rigged only to, towards Esau's benefit. A system where with maybe sometimes a heathen can climb that ladder, but ultimately you ain't going to have it to where one of the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans is going to fairly, through hard work, okay, on toll, okay, is going to climb that ladder of, of prosperity. Of which you ain't supposed to be climbing that ladder of prosperity out here, okay? So you got it to where you got certain cats within these Israelite camps, okay? These money camps, okay? They're on this thing of, of, of let's get wealthy within Esau system. Well, unless you sold out, and, and I'm going to show you within this, unless you have sold out, you are not going to get no tangible, valuable items within the society because you're working within a society that's been designed to be a curse unto you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. Okay, it's designed to be a curse unto you, and these three articles is gonna show you that. Okay, predominantly the one I've showed you in the middle, because that's the one I that's the one I use as a premise. So I find the article, you know, I get some ideas in my head about how I'm gonna try and get it out. But really, it's all a spiritual thing, and the more side presents, you know, uh, me with the, with, with the articles that he wants to to be brought out. Okay, so let's start off with this within the book of Deuteronomy, the twenty eighth chapter. Okay, and this is the um uh um. This is the 16th verse. This is the 16th verse. Okay, so it says, "Curse, curse shall I be in the city? Curse shall I be in the field?" So you have a system where, uh, 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 let's put this into modern day terms. So, curse shall, shall I be in the city? So you know what the city is. You're out there. You have the job. Okay, you're trying to get that money. You're trying to get that guap. Okay, you're gonna be cursed when you're doing that. Okay, it's just a simple fact of the matter. The system ain't gonna work in your favor, man. They're ever gonna have it to where the job is. You just can't understand the job. So you're gonna to have to do something that's more geared towards your uh, your spirit because the way Esau maneuvers through a, 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 a system of business is just is just contrary against the scriptures. Okay, so if it's against the scriptures, if we're saying these are the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, and the Israelite scouts throughout the four corners of the earth, the people of, of whom the Most High has put a spirit like unto Himself into, okay. Then people ain't gonna jive with the system that's geared up against them. The, the very fundamentals of how that system works, the, the how the workplace environment works, that's gonna be against your spirit, man. 
Okay, that's gonna be against your spirit. And when you go out into these different jobs, especially these office jobs, that's completely against your spirit because you know you're supposed to be out there and it, it, down there enjoying the earth, but you're still being fruitful. In other words, if you're farming, hey, you're, you're enjoying the earth. You're out there. You hear the you hear the, the, the birds singing, which is the most high song. Okay, <laughs> if someone's gonna take that and make a video out of it, but you, you see, you you feel the environment. You enjoy the the world of the most high is designed. And when you're out there within this office, man. It's just the most effeminate type of work environment that you could ever be in. So that's going to be against your spirit, man. Okay, so you're going to be cursed within that facet. And just that principle of in and of itself spirals out into all kind of different uh, problems that you're going to have within this environment, man. You can't speak your mind because they're going to call you up into that into that HR office. Okay, so you're going to be cursed within that scene. So and, I, and let's, 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 let's expand out. Okay, so you're gonna be cursed within that seat. So you'll be the, 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 the last one hired, the first one fired. Okay, you're gonna have some extenuating circumstances before they pick you out for the job. Okay, and then when you get the job, you're gonna work crazy hours. So it's like you're, you're praying for the job, but when you get the job, you're like, God damn it, why am I in this environment, man? Okay, so you're just cursed left, right, and center, man. It says cursed that I be in, in the field. Okay, so when you're getting out, get, getting out working, okay. You're gonna be you, you whoever you, you that's that you know you got you got you, your house niggas okay and you got your field niggas okay so the house nigga which is out there within the sea he's gonna be cursed there and the field niggas gonna be cursed out there within the uh, within the field okay doing your so-called uh, uh, manual labor type of work because that's looked down upon within the society or which that's that's really a, a more masculine uh, a way that's gonna boost your testosterone you're gonna go home happier because your your whole vibration is 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 better you're gonna have more sun. Okay, and, and having more sun, you're going to be healthier. So then people out there that are doing the so-called manual labor jobs out there within the field, technically they live a happier, well, not technically, mathematically speaking, they live a happier life, man. Okay, because they're out there within the elements. They're dealing with the elements, man. Okay, but nevertheless, they were going to be cursed within that facet. And we're going to go through some of those facets of which they're going to be cursed in. Okay, cursed out, shot out, be in a basket and that sort. Now, this is the point here that we're going to be dealing with too. Okay, this is the main premise that we're going to be dealing with. How that you're going to be cursed within your basket. So, you're going to put some money within that basket. Okay, but it's going to be likened unto a man that's got a bag, okay, filled with holes. And the scripture for that is, is, in, is in the background. But I'll, leave, I'll read it at, at, at the end. Okay, so it says, cursed shall I be in that basket and I store. So, anything you try to save up, anything you try to put away. That's gonna be just a, that's gonna be just curse, man. To to the end that you won't have no money. But see, I'll tell you something about having no money in your pocket. Even if you got the job and you distribute that them funds to to brothers or whatever, whatever. The best thing about that is this: when you have that money, your mind is completely destroyed, man. Okay, that's from personal experience. Okay, when you got that money within your pocket, you ain't thinking you ain't thinking right, my man. You ain't thinking right. You think that that money is gonna deliver you. Okay. You're thinking that, that, that having that guap within your pocket is going to have you some type of leverage with the most side, but quite the contrary, because the scripture says what? Supposing that gain is, is godliness, man. Okay? And the scripture goes as far as saying within the book of Psalms 37th chapter, how the, the poor was going to inherit the earth. Okay? So here it is. You've got a system that's rigged against you. Okay? If you try and make it out there here within the society, you're going to get jacked up. But even if you do make it some way up the ladder, Okay, the most size coming for the poor. So your bed, your hey, you get your daily bread. That's it, man. That's it, man. Okay, you feel like Esau's trying to take advantage of you or try to get a better job, but hey, you gotta deal with it. You gotta deal with. You still gotta deal with some form of cursing. So you might get a better job now. You you know now the demon's gonna transfer it to your woman. Now she starts acting crazy. Or your kids or your dog starts barking. Hey, it's hell. Okay. So with that uh, 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 in mind, we're gonna go through some of these um some of these ideas that I've tried to put together. Uh, dealing with the issue of uh, a tangible ownership of goods, okay? All right, barter systems, land, okay, sheep, oxen. <laughs> All right, that's cattle for you, um, for you, uh, 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 uh modern day uh, uh, neo Babylonians, okay? All right, that's wealth, okay? And this article is going to go into it somewhat, all right? But really, this is the premise that I'm going to, I really, really, this is where I'm going to, where I'm going to try to expound on the ideas that I'm trying to push forth here, okay? That's that's this this is where really I'm gonna try to push and you're gonna see that pretty much Esau's the one that has ownership of all of these things. Okay, to the end that people are buying houses out here within London and England and, and all over the world, okay, and it's mostly Jake because they don't know how the system works. Okay, they're buying on on on, 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 on a leasehold of which for all intents and purposes, that's just renting the house, 
all right but you're paying the mortgage and after a certain amount of time that land goes back onto the ownership okay of the family that sold it to you okay so you have a leasehold of 40 years or, or, or 70 years or etc etc but ultimately you're renting that land <laughs> okay it's real deep you're, you're you're just all you're doing is you're renting that house you you bought it on paper but ultimately you, you're renting it okay because after you bought it that land uh, of which your 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 house is on or the house you bought is on is gonna go on to whatever you build up on that land is gonna go back onto the people that own that land okay hence the reason why we, i'm dealing with this article here of the illusion of wealth okay because you've got people out there they've got the cars they've got the watches they've they bought a house okay but ultimately you don't own the land and even if you own the land you go to the book of second Ezra, the 15th chapter okay dealing with the martial law and so on and so forth and then you go into articles like uh project megiddo rex and so on and so forth what you're getting into finding out is that ultimately the government and the rulers of the government own that land okay and the rulers of the government is not your so-called politicians and all of that the rulers of your government is who your government owes money to and that's the elite banking families man they're the ones that owns that money. That they're the ones that are that, that own uh, uh, the land of which you're you're you're, you're living in. You're toiling you're, you're toiling for man. You're working so hard to maintain. They're the ones that own it. Okay, going to show you that this is this is this is a system of which the devil is in rulership because he'll give you the illusion that you're the one that's in control. You're the one who owns all of this, and ultimately he's the one that owns all of this. In fact, you go into the Federal Reserve System and the the, uh, the modern way, uh, the modern mechanics of banking, okay, you find out that the money you're dealing with is actually invaluable. But how, rather more the people believing on the money, that's what gives it value. <laughs> Ain't that crazy? Not that, not that like a piece of gold that's just valuable. No, the people believing that the money is valuable is what gives it value. And that's the system that we're living in right now. Okay, so let's go into this a little bit. So it says, a long ago... Wealth was directly linked to physical resources and people received compensation for their labor in food and material. OK, I believe the word there is intrinsic value. OK, but another uh, a synonym, if you will, will be tangible goods. OK, land. This is your plot of land. That's your family. In fact, you go to the scriptures, you find out the inheritances of Jacob. OK, the 12 tribes of Israel that are scattered now are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. I mean, old people, but predominantly you're going to recognize them as the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. You find out that they have an, an inheritance that is quite large. OK. All right. If you go to um, let's see if I can pull this up. All right. Uh, um, the uh, uh, promised land. If I go to the promised land. OK. And I go to uh, 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 and I go to uh, the images. You're going to see that. The land of the most size promised us it's quite vast okay but see that's the that's the prize of the righteous okay that's the prize of the righteous tangible goods okay tangible uh, items that you can you can measure you can quantify that's what the most size is going to give to his people okay not working for esau and he gives you federal reserve notes or, or bank of england notes okay all right to the end that you just gonna buy you're gonna buy uh, 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 uh just just <laughs> just items to keep your mind off of the fact that you're in slavery because that's what it's all about hence the illusion of slavery it has the illusion uh, of freedom the illusion of, uh, 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 of of wealth okay so i want to i want to pull this up right here okay um i sent this out to brothers before i don't know if i've done, i've used this in the video before but if you can see all right this is israel right now but this is this is the extent of which the moral side has given us uh, uh, the inheritance okay that's a nice that's a nice chunk of uh, land right there okay and if you go into the different histories of these different empires they all were within this region right here man okay they was all within this region because you got you got uh, 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 access to all directions okay you got access to, to the most fertile land over here we know that we, we know the history of egypt we know the, the history of israel and how how pretty much it was very uh, uh, uh is it, well that land is very fruitful man that's the point i'm trying to say it's a very fruitful land okay so that's what the more size got out here for us let's go back onto this article right here so this is back within the uh, uh money and the illusion of wealth okay so it says when a barter system was uh, when when a uh, money replaced barter okay in other words a uh, 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 federal reserve um uh, uh, uh federal reserve notes bank of england notes whatever central bank 
uh, of what country you're in, whatever notes they're dealing with. When that when that replaced the barter system, especially when usury, <laughs> when usury charging interest to lend money became moral and legal, right? The definition of wealth became blurry. I mean, that's a bad boy line right there. Okay, that should be that should be that should be the thing that you'd be thinking about every day when you're when you're dealing within this society, when you're dealing within Esau's a uh, 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 world of wealth. You should be thinking that within your mind, the fact that the barter system has re been replaced, but not only money and federal uh, 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 money and currency, okay, but it's actually been the, the, the whole usury system, right, has has replaced, has become moral and has become legal. Because when you go into how the the, the more size set up the usury system and how you were supposed to let that person go after a certain period of time, you find that this this society is completely wicked. But that the, that's a law within our scriptures, man. That's a law within our scriptures. How to, after a certain period of time, because someone working for you, they should be able to go out there after seven years and, and they should be good, man. Okay, here it is. You work for East for twenty five years trying to pay off a, a, a leasehold, and then and in seventy, you know, seventy years or a thousand years, that land goes back onto the family that owns it, the elite banking families. Hence, the illusion of the wealth that you're trying to trying to uh, prescribe to. But even if you go into the scriptures, you find out you got the curses. So you're just better off just getting your daily bread. Okay, hey, you can get them them nigga coon jobs, get them nigga coon jobs, but God damn it, getting your daily bread and, and, and keeping focus on the promise that the more size given uh, 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 unto us, man, because the more the promise that the more size given unto us is vast. It's vast, man. This is the most fertile land in uh, in the whole world. And the more size said, look, these Negroes and Spanish Native Americans are gonna go through this hell. You can go catch hell underneath this king, catch hell underneath them people. But ultimately, I'm gonna put them. Uh, I'm gonna I'm 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 make them right. I'm, 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 you know, they're gonna be all right. Not for our name's sake, as the book of Ezekiel, the thirty seventh chapter, goes into. But for his holy name's sake, lest a man should boast about his righteousness, which is what you're getting out there within the IUIC. Okay, here it is. They make they having you to where people actually believe that they're righteous, and this is a similitude of righteousness. And the Most High is dealing with them because of the laws that they keep. The scriptures talk about how the Most High is pretty much gonna have it to where He's gonna have deliverance on us, and hence us re receive this promised land, not not our uh, not uh, 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 things of, uh, of 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 no value, but actual uh, uh, quantifiable goods. Okay, quantifiable inheritances. Okay. Right for his holy name's sake. <laughs> now check that. So let's carry on with this article. So it says it became moral and legal. The definition of wealth became blur blurry. It says the abstract concept of money has allowed people to become rich by depleting natural resources. Okay, mucking up land prices, manipulating financial data, selling disposable goods. It's disposable. <laughs> Delib uh, deliberately rendering products obsolete. And that's a good thing. Uh, I, we did a video uh, a while back about uh, building obsolescence, and pretty much you have a system. Uh, uh, here it is: you're working, you're working, you're working. You buy a phone, a laptop, and that phone has been designed not to last forever, but it's been designed to um, to become obsolete. And one of the things that they do to 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 to, to make it become obsolete is to uh, have it to where you have persistent software updates, and those persistent software updates is only compatible to the new newest model of 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 um of of, of phone or laptop or whatever it is you're buying. So it's just, like again, it's a system rigged against the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, because who really can afford to keep replacing these things like that? <laughs> All right, pushing illegal drugs and ex exterminating species uh, species for body parts. Money doesn't discriminate between ethical and immoral activities, and many people don't care about the differences. The one setting the the one setting the price in most cases, the elite banking families. Okay, even in, in the legal economy, millions of workers are kept employed by money itself. Not something physical and physically tangible, right? The virtual monetary system, or the virtual uh, monetary economy, uh, virtual monetary econom economy may grow indefinitely on paper, but real physical economy can only support a finite level of consumption. Now let's pause right there. I'm not going to read all of this. I might go into this in a, a, a latter date, but really, this is. This sums all what I'm going to try to get into in the next one here. So if you have a, a ever-expanding uh, uh, virtual economy, 
which is the system that you got right now if you have an ever expanding virtual economy with an ever uh, increasing debt ceiling with an ever expanding a uh, debt budget and, and uh, 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 budget spending and etc etc we have it with that that grows uh, you know you know you know virtual markets it goes forever and ever the fact of the matter is the goods that are upon earth the tangible physical economy okay uh, uh, cows okay oxen a uh, goat okay a uh, 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 gold, silver, and then ultimately land. Okay, those things have a, a finite level of consumption, and what you find out with that finite level of consumption of true wealth, that belongs onto the elite banking families. They're the ones that own that. Okay, they're the ones that own the finite levels of consumption within this society, and this is going to be an example of that. Okay. When I get into this article, you're finding out that these people out here that are working so hard for these so-called houses, they don't really own them, okay? And what's even greater about that, see, this article goes into only one aspect of it. It doesn't deal with the fact that when, when martial law is declared, all of the land goes back onto the, to, to the elite banking families, the, the people that, 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 that these people are paying mortgages off of, okay? It goes back onto them bankers, man. Okay, when martial law is, is declared, people are going to be put in concentration camps. Why are they going to be put in concentration camps? Because all of that exists out here now belongs onto the elite banking families. And they're going to declare it in that time. Now, here it is. They're playing the background role. They, they're having to set up a central bank. And, you, you know, you borrow your money from your national bank. The national bank borrows money from the central bank. And they're only indirectly, indirectly. But ultimately, when that martial law is declared by way of, of World War Three, by way of famines, by way of diseases, plagues, etc., etc., these bank, these own, these these banksters, okay, these uh, these 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 so-called Jews that run the world right now, they're gonna say, look, did, we're your kings, we're the one that ruled this world, man, okay, and that's why the scripture says that he enlarges his desires as hell because the finite level of consumptions not only belongs onto maybe one percent of the world, even less than that, because you know, those so-called Jews don't breed like that. So here it is, the whole vast resources of the world, which can support billions and billions and billions of billions of people, right, is only in the hands of a very, 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 very small amount of people. Because they know that this is a finite level of consumption. Let them, let these people think that they're, they're ever expanding in terms of the money they get, although the money they're getting it decreases in value. But a person is happy because they're making $150,000 uh, $150, a year. Okay, but but all the man needed to make was 150,000 over his lifespan. Oh, 25 years ago, and he was more than good. <laughs> all right, let that sink into your membrane. Okay, so let's go into this article now. Hopefully, you know the point's been made, and I, you know I've drove it home right, you know right, right, right there. You know, so it says here, leasehold now number uh, now number one concern for UK homeowners. Okay, study finds. Money grabbing schemes, and why is it a money grabbing scheme? Because once you have the once once they own you, once once they own your ass, man, they own your ass, <laughs> and that's the end all go. Here it is, you're gonna people gonna be trying to that's and that's one of the you know coming to think about it, that's gonna be one of the main driving forces behind that chip. Okay, to keep your house, you're gonna have to get this chip so we can transfer the accounts onto this, man, so you can we can track your payments through this system. That's gonna be a that should that that probably is gonna be a major thing. I'm not saying that it is. I'm not saying I got the information to say here it is and here it is. But if people are uh, you know are, are struggling to pay their their their, their so-called mortgages these days because this economy is fucked, okay? And you got to do you got you know Ponzi schemes and all kinds of schemes to where people uh, are getting all types of jacked up. Well, to maintain it makes sense that to maintain that housing that they got right now, they're gonna have to have it to where they're gonna have that chip, man, okay? To maintain the lifestyle they've got right now, when all everything goes tits up, they're gonna have to, they're gonna go, they're gonna happily go for that chip, and it's gonna be mainly them women that are gonna line up for that because they like that certain level of comfort, man. Okay, so it says money grabbing schemes trap new home, new buyers with spiraling ground rents, <laughs> and I like that. I like this statement. I like this statement where where it says ground rents because you know when you're talking about rent, you're not talking about you don't think you don't think home ownership. You're not thinking home ownership. But ultimately, if you if you if you ain't, if you don't own the land your house is built on, you don't own shit, man. You don't own shit. Okay, so you gotta pay the rent on the ground that your house lives on. Okay, so it says leasehold has become uh, the number one concern for homeowners in the UK, according to new studies. 
right after it emerged that new, many new buy, home buyers have been trapped by the uh, spiraling ground rents. And it makes sense if the elite banking families want to push the people out, you know, squeeze them, okay, so they become completely dependent on the government and state to try to fix their problems. Well, when that chip is presented, that's going to be the solution and people going to be taking it right, going to be, going to be taking it, man. They're going to be running. They're going to be lining up for that, okay? It says, annual survey of property, own, uh, property owners, right, by the Homeowners Alliance uh, found that 50% of the UK's adults see the current uh, uh, current leasehold uh, system, including service charges and ground head as very uh, as a very a very serious or a serious problem up from 42 percent last year okay so paula higgins the chief executive of home owner alliance said uh, um unscrupulous players within the industry have turned what, ha what has been a form of tenure for centuries right into a money grabbing uh, uh, scheme of which that's not how we dealt within the ancient world okay now we had this system where you rented a piece of land for a certain amount of time okay but you know, we, don't, we ain't trying to rip you. We ain't trying to make you believe that you own something that you don't own. You know that this is ours, okay? Right? If if, 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 if Gideon has been given a, a, a 30,000 square feet of land, okay, that's going to belong unto Gideon's family, unto Gideon's family for a perpetual, if the most is giving it unto him, okay? But see, what you're going to have it to where is you might have it to where Gideon's going to allow that. He's going to allow, uh, 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 um, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, another brother to, to, to farm up on that land for a certain period of time. It's up to him. But he's not going to feel that he owns that. You ain't going to have to pay a mortgage and then a rent fee and whatever, whatever. you got all, all types of fees, like all types of fees, because these people actually believe that they, they're in a system. They're actually uh, paying off a system to where they can exist. Okay? They actually think that they're paying off something that they're going to be, they're going to they're gonna own for a certain period of time, man. But then you ain't. <laughs> okay, so let's, um... Let's go into uh, what is this? So that's pretty much that's pretty much it. I don't really have to go into too much of that. Let's define the difference between a freehold and a leasehold, okay? And they're gonna they're gonna mention certain terms in here that should spark a, a, a certain thinking within your mind. So it says leasehold versus freehold. What is the difference? It may seem like a technical legal language, but there are a, a few things more uh, important about your home than uh, whether a freehold or leasehold. Okay, it makes the difference between owning your home outright and having a landlord. And that's the thing I was talking about right here. Landlord. Okay, who's the lord of this land? Esau, man. He's the lord of this land. Okay, he's the lord of the flies, but the most high has had it to where he's the lord of the land right now. To where to the end of scripture says that what? That he, the, 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 he, the, you know, has, has he seen a, a curse, a, 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 has he seen a, a, a nightmare, uh, to quote, to roughly paraphrase it, right? Because he had seen servants upon horses. You go into the book of Job, the 30th chapter, it says that how these, these, these bums, <laughs> these Edomite bums were turned into lords. Now you got to, where they're the ones that own the land that you want to, you want to do whatever you want to do. When we, we already know Esau owns the wealth. But for these peons out here that they think that they're getting a, a chip of the so-called uh, American dream, they're getting a chip of the so-called uh, a Western idea, the uh, a chip or, or, or a section, a part, their cut of Babylon, they ain't getting shit, man. And even if you do own the freehold, when that martial law comes through, man, you're going to find out you didn't own nothing in the goddamn first place, okay? So it says there, uh, uh, and having a, a landlord, okay? A, a lord of your land, okay. And it says, what is it? What are the differences? Fundamentally, the two uh, uh, fundamental. The, they are two fundamentally different forms of legal ownership: freehold and leasehold. Although state agents tend to gloss gloss over it, and there's that illusion, okay. Between the, the, the differences can be uh, the difference between a home that is worth buying and that isn't. Many people who who don't sort uh, this out when they uh, when they buy a home. End up regretting it, right, and get into a uh, um uh, uh and can be and the cost can be hugely expensive. Okay, so uh, if we go to this, we scroll down to this. It says a leasehold means that you lease from the freeholder. Okay, sometimes called a landlord, to use the home for a number of years. <laughs> so you pay a mortgage to rent, in other words. So you can understand. To put it into layman's terms, you pay a mortgage to rent. Okay, so if the mortgage is 50 years and you've leased for 40 years, hey, you're fucked. <laughs> I mean, I don't think they actually do that, but uh, uh, just to theorize, you know. Uh, um, so it says here, um, 
choose the home for a number of years. It says the, the leases are usually long term, 90 years, 120 years, uh, and as high as a thousand years. And why does it why does it say a thousand year lease? The person's dead, okay, 900 years ago. Why does it say a thousand years? Okay, because these elite banking families they deal with a thing of reincarnation. Okay, so they they know that they, they, the, 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 the breaches that they have acquired, they're going to allow you to lease it for a certain amount of time. But the time they come back, they're thinking is that we're going to own this land again. Okay, well, which ultimately that's the right mentality of thinking because you want to have it to where that that uh, that land is is in your in your family's possession. That's the kind of right way of thinking. But the the, the wickedness about it is the, the the glossing over it. Okay, the, the 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 thing of making you believe that you own something you don't own is completely wicked. Okay, right. The the thing of making you pay a mortgage on that instead of just renting it is completely wicked, man. Okay, so pretty much hopefully I think um the point was hit. Hopefully that was edifying. I got one more scripture to hit. All right, this is in the book of Haggai, the first chapter. I believe it's in the sixth verse. It says, "You sow much and bring in little. Okay, you eat, but you have not. Uh, you have not enough. Right, you drink, but you are not filled. Okay, with drink. So you're you're in a perpetual state of, of consumption. All right, because you have been given the illusion of wealth. We find that within 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 the world of, of true economics that it is a finite level of consumption. So you're in a perpetual state of consumption. Then you're in a state of delusion." <laughs> because you've been led to believe that you can continue on in the state that you're going on, right? Believing something is new and it's not new. Believing something you own something when you don't, okay? Because the masters, the rulers that be, would have it so, all right? Because they deal with a thing of of, of deception, right? It says he clothe you, but you have uh, you are not warm, right? Uh, he that hath uh, he that earneth wages, right? Uh, wages to put in a, into a bag. With holes, and that's the thing we've been dealing with. Now, really, all ultimately, most Jakes ain't even gonna be on that type of level. But even for these, you know, average Edomites out here, they they're jacked up too, man. And that's all because the Mosai has set up this whole kingdom to be a grievance unto the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully that was um edifying. Hopefully, um, you know, some pertinent points and some inspirational points for you bro, to go out there and do some videos on. You know, was was brought out. Now I'm gonna say all oh, praise unto Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Double honesty, apostles are great millstone. Unless you brothers will be pushing the truth in sincerity. And Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, I'll see you on the next one. Shalom.